In 1983, the best scientists in the world joined forces to discover an elusive particle known only as the W boson. Its story is truly an amazing one, and it holds keys to secrets and shrouding everything from the smallest atom to the entire universe. With a diameter of just 200 septometers, the W boson is over a thousand times smaller than a proton, yet is over 85 times as massive. At CERN superproton synchrotron, protons and antiprotons were accelerated to near light speeds, and then... An octillionth of a second after the collision, a flurry of new elementary particles are born. By tracing the unique decay products of the W boson, an electron and electron antineutrino, scientists could deduce that the W boson was here. But well, why is this so important? Well, three words. The four fundamental forces, or interactions. The strong interaction, electromagnetism, the weak interaction, and gravitation. Each of these forces has a force carrier particle that mediates their respective interactions, and that's what makes the W boson so special. You might know that the weak interaction is responsible for beta decay, during which a neutron is converted into a proton, or vice versa, emitting either an electron, an antineutrino, or a positron, a neutrino. Since neutrons are composed of one up quark and two down quarks, and protons consist of two up quarks and one down quark, the weak force can be thought of as the conversion of a down quark into an up quark. Since the conversion of a down quark to an up quark requires the creation of a positive one electric charge, a corresponding charge of negative one must also be created in the exact same instant thanks to the conservation of electric charge. This negative charge is carried by none other than the W boson, which then immediately decays to an electron and electron antineutrino. This is the beta particle we know and love. Neither the W boson nor the beta particle existed before the decay, but instead were created spontaneously as a byproduct of the conversion. Therefore, beta decay can be thought of as the creation and almost simultaneous destruction of a W boson. In this hypothetical batch of atoms, there is no way to tell exactly when an atom will decay. However, because radioactive decay is exponential, we do know that roughly half of the remaining atoms will decay within a given time frame. This time frame is the half-life. This is the W boson, the particle that is responsible for one of the universe's most mystifying phenomena. Its fleeting existence allows everything from the ignition of stars to radiation therapy for cancer. It was, and still is, the driving force and inspiration behind many of the discoveries we've made in the quantum field. So, thanks for learning, and thanks for watching.